Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Geekom Mini PC. Now, this year basically is a mini computer system, and it is running Windows 11. Pro. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to set this thing up, see what you get in the box and all the features of this little product. This is literally a desktop PC. It is simply ultra small. Do you understand how small it is? There's my hand and there's that computer. All right, so let's quickly see what you get in the box when you buy this. Of course, you get your mini computer, which is right here. We're going to be talking about the specs in a minute. And then over here, we have the power adapter and the power cable. So this connects to the wall and connects to the computer to power this on. And then we have a cable here. This is an HDMI cable. And basically you're gonna attach one end of this to the back of the PC into the input ports and the other side is gonna plug into a monitor just like any other PC. And finally, uh, you do get a case to carry this if you wanna make this portable. And then you also get a mount. This mount allows you to mount this product in the back of a monitor, which is fantastic because you can then hide this computer behind the monitor. So that is what you get in the box. Now I do want to let you know that this mini PC does have Bluetooth 4.2, so you can attach wireless keyboard, wireless mouse via Bluetooth, and of course it has wireless Wi-Fi for internet connections. All right, so let's do a quick tour around the device to see all the ports and what's going on. So this right here is the front panel. You can see we have the power button. We have a 3.5 millimeter jack here for headphones. And then over here, we have a USB 3.0 port. This is the USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. So it is gonna be super fast, transfer speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. And then over here, we have a USB type C port, which is fantastic. That's just the front. All right, so that is the front. So when we look in the back over here, let's talk about all the ports in the rear. So over here, you can see that we have an, an HDMI out port. That's going to be for connecting a monitor. Uh, here we have a USB type C port that also doubles up as a display port. If you need to use a USB connection to connect to a display, then we have two more USB ports right here. And I do want to let you know, all these USB ports are in fact, USB 3.0 generation 2 ports. So that is going to be super speed plus 10 gigabytes of transfer speeds. And then we have an ethernet port right here. Uh, if you want to connect it to a network with a wire for faster transfer speeds. And then finally, we have a display port here. You can connect another monitor or just use this one. It's going to be up to you. Uh, the computer does support multiple monitors at the same time. And finally, we do have a power port right here. And then another great thing, if you look to the side over here, we do have an SD card slot right here to connect SD card. Here's a little SD card. If you want to read this, you just plug it right in here and you're good to go. There's also this aluminum mesh here and the whole thing is built out of metal and aluminum. So this is not a cheap product. It is not plastic. It does feel high quality, but you have a mesh system here and a mesh system here and that is for airflow. So there is a built-in fan on the top here. It brings in cold air from one side, okay, from one side inside and then cools the system and here's the exhaust so the hot air comes from here therefore uh, cooling the system all right so i built this setup as you can see and i do want to really quickly talk about the specs of the geekcom mini it8 so let's look at those all right so the core specs are quite impressive for the price we do have an intel coffee lake i5 processor we have intel iris plus graphics 655 Windows 11 Pro has been pre-installed. On this particular model, I have 512 gigabytes of solid state drive, which is connected via an M2 interface, which means it's gonna be super fast. And then we also have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is also expandable to 32. I'm gonna open this up in a minute. I'm gonna show you guys the inside and how to upgrade uh, the RAM and the storage, which is expandable up to one terabyte. Now I mentioned to you guys that this computer uses a solid state drive. And I ran this benchmark right here, and this is yielding some really solid numbers for a small PC that is only $500. So that's gonna guarantee fast, 
and snappy performance as I have experienced using this PC. Now, as an example, here's my PC that I built for $4,000. It's giving me these numbers. So they're pretty high, but the price is eight times more expensive. So when I come back here, this one I'm getting for $500. Again, these numbers showcase the speed of the read and write speeds of the actual solid state drive in this computer. I am also able to easily play and stream 4K movies. The Wi-Fi connection is rock solid. So this movie here is playing at the highest quality. There's no lag playing the movie or there's no lag for the Wi-Fi connection. Now, one thing I do wanna show you guys real quick is how to connect the Geekcom Mini IT8 to a monitor so basically here's an HDMI cable I connect one end right over here and the other end goes to the back of the monitor or a high definition TV whatever that you have it's not a problem so it is very easy to connect you can see I have the power cord right here that is powering on my computer and also I have a couple of USB devices plugged back here as well now remember you can also use this USB type C to connect to a monitor that accepts USB Type-C connection, or you can use the mini display port to connect to a monitor that has a mini display port. In this case, I'm just using the HDMI, as you can see. So plenty of options. Now, because this thing is so small, you can have it anywhere. You can even have it next to your high definition TV and use it as a computer and a streaming device. So I can log into my Netflix account and just start watching movies as I please. So that is just fantastic, as you can see. Of course, you can go full screen. So it does have multiple uses, no question about that. So I also wanted to run the Geekbench test to see what kind of numbers we get here. So when I pull up the browser here, I get the results. So multi-core score is uh, over 3,000, and this is almost 1,000, the single core score. So these are great numbers, again, relative to a PC that is only $500. And this thing is a solid workhorse, great for office duties, for administrative tasks, for video editing. Not at the professional level, but we'll get the job done. And also, it is going to be great for photo editing, for Photoshop and stuff like that. You're not going to have any problem with this guy. Here I'm running uh, Word. Okay, so, so great office workhorse of a computer. All right, so if you want to open this PC up and do some upgrades internally, basically you just turn this around and you are gonna see four screws here. You loosen those screws, and then this whole thing just comes off. So all you do is you lift this up very carefully, okay? On the top here, we do have a slot for additional storage if you wanna add it. You have the connection right here, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Uh, but right over here, this is the RAM, that's 16 gigabytes in this model here. You do have another slot, you can add another 16 gigabytes of RAM and over here, we have the solid state drive. Now this one is 512, but you can go up to one terabyte. So all you do is again, unscrew this, plug it out and put the new one. It's all gonna be up to you. So that's fantastic. It is just like a computer, but it's super small. So three points of upgrade, the RAM, the solid state drive, and you can actually add a regular SATA hard drive right here, okay? You even have a little housing here to plug it in. Now, one more thing I wanna show you guys is if I flip this over, Okay, I actually removed the front panel. This is just a pull-out panel. You can just pull it out, it comes off. But here's that fan I was talking about in the beginning of the video. So that fan takes in the cold air, cools the system, and blows out the hot air. So that is right here. If necessary, that's also replaceable. So that's basically what the Geekcom Mini IT8 is all about. It's super small. It is a solid mini computer with great everyday performance, great for work from home, working with documents, minor creative work, streaming movies, media consumption. It does come with moderately powerful specs. It is upgradable and the solid state drive is super fast. It also has every port you need in a computer, and I love the fact that it comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro. For a price of less than $500, it really is hard to find a con. The only thing I wish it had was a small set of speakers as a backup but you can attach your own speakers if you need them. But anyway, links to buy this guy are gonna be down below with discount coupons to reduce the price even further. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.